G'day gamers. Welcome to Super Happy Awesome Gaming Time. In today's Monday Madness episode, we are gonna build a deck box. Now, I've never built a deck box before, so this should be a fun experience. I've kind of come up with a little bit of a plan of how I want the deck box to look, but I'm pretty much gonna be making it up as I go, and I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. Uh, this deck box I'm going to make for the game Bakugan because this is really the only storage solution you can get for Bakugan. Um, it fits a heap of the balls in it, but uh, the card slot in it doesn't fit cards when they're sleeved. So it's pretty much useless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a deck box that holds six of your balls, a whole heap of your cores, and then two decks of cards. So let's get down to the table and let's hop to it. Okay, so the plan is we're going to do sort of just a standard box like so. And then we'll have the foldable lid that comes off and then that'll go over the top and then this will be the clamp section here. Then we're gonna have a little deck compartment here so this is where our two decks will go. And in the top here is where we'll store uh, six Bakugan. And then across the back here will be another little X section where we can hold three lots of cores across here. I've got myself some chipboard. This is a really thick cardboard. Um, it's about uh, 1.5 mil thick. I've got some super glue. We've got some contact cement, some magnets. These are one mil by 10 mil, pencil, uh, something to cut with, some form of brush or something for your contact cement, a ruler, something to wrap the box in to make it look a bit nicer. So what I got for the inside is some nice sort of felty feeling uh, black material. This is blackout curtain material. It's got a really nice soft feel to it. And for the outside, I got some lovely red, uh, pleather or vinyl, whatever you want to call it, it's fake leather. All right, let's, uh, first thing let's do is our bottom section. So it's gonna be 140 by 100. So let's measure 140 up, just double check. Yep, and then we need 100 along. Alrighty, so there is the base that we've got. So that's gonna be a general size of our box. Uh, so let's get some decks and we'll put some decks here and we'll see if the decks fit and then we'll also get some back going and see if they fit. So here is a deck, so that's going to sit in like that. And let's get another deck, sit that one there. Okay, they will fit no problems. Uh, so my goal is to have these separated by a little piece like that. Oh, metal ruler. Okay, so I think that's gonna fit, that's no problems. So, let's cut this bad boy out. When you're cutting stuff like this out, you wanna go in shallow passes. That way you're not gonna rip anything and make sure your blade is nice and sharp. Alrighty, so there is our bottom plate. Nice sharp edges. So let's move on to our side plates now, which are going to be the are going to be 100 by 75. Okay, so just double check, but that's our previous cut there, so that we know that's 100. So let's move up and do a couple more 100 marks. Okay, so now we're going to do our height, which is 75. All right, we'll cut this one out, and then we'll do our second one. Okay, so there are our two sides, and that's our bottom. And the idea is that they will sit like so. So let's cut out our back piece, and then we'll be able to glue them together so we can get a general idea of where we're going. Okay, so our back piece is going to be 140 long and 75 tall. So we know that this is 140, this mark here, because that's how we cut our back part, but we'll just double check. 140, 
Yep. So let's just go 75 along and make a mark. Okay, so this is gonna be our back piece. It's gonna sit there. Our front pieces will sit there. So we actually want this one that we just cut our back piece, actually gonna sit on our bottom piece like that and not on the side like that. So we're actually gonna have to kind of cut uh, the board's thickness off of this back piece. Easiest way, get one of your pre one of your cut boards, the bottom part, place it on so it's level with the back, do like that, and then just trace your line, make sure it's flat. Trace your line along the bottom. That'll give you a nice line across the bottom there that we can nick off. So that piece is 73 mil. Okay, so let's uh, glue some pieces together. Now you could probably use tape for this, but you know, I enjoy super glue. So let's just put a little bead along the, our bottom piece here. It's all gonna get covered, so it's fine if you're a little messy. And line it up as neat as possible. Nice and flat. That'll give you just a firm enough little grip there. We can now get the back piece, give it a test fit. And we'll run a bead along the bottom here. And a bead on the side. And get it, make sure it's nice and flat against. And we'll do our other side piece. All right, we have the beginnings of our deck box. I'm just gonna run a bead of super glue on all the joints, just to make sure they're all nice and linked. There we go, we'll let that dry and we'll move on. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do now is build the bottom plate. This is the area where your decks will sit under and your bakugan and cores will sit on. So, uh, it's also gonna have a little divider in the middle, but we don't wanna glue that in because it's gonna be easier to wrap in fabric if it's out, I think. Who knows? So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the plate. It's gonna be the same size as the bottom minus the thickness of the back wall. Uh, and then we'll also cut our divider, but we'll cut two of them just so we can use them as spaces to glue our bottom board in. Okay, so what we have to do now is we need to make another bottom plate. This one is gonna be uh, minus the thickness of the material. So we wanna do 140, which is our long wires, and 100 was our normal distance, but this time we need to make it uh, minus three mil, which is the thickness of the material. So that is gonna be one, uh, 140 by 97. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut this at 140. 140 by 100, and then I'll cut it off after I've got it off. All right, so we have a 100 by 140 here, so we just need to take three mil off, all the thickness of the material. All righty, so you should now have a 140 by 97. 97. 97. Okay, so this part should now fit nice and snug and be perfectly lined up with our two ends, like that. Let's make our spaces for our decks and we'll see if we've measured right and everything fits. Oh, okay, let's get our dividers. This is gonna go in the middle section here, so this will divide the two decks on the bottom and it's also gonna give the support for our upper uh, platform, which our Bakugan will sit on. So, uh, this is gonna be 30 mil high um, our plan said 27 that I drew up at the start, but we're going to make it 30 because we've got a bit more room to play with than I thought. Uh, so that'll give us plenty of room for sleeved decks. Uh, and we're going to make it 97 
long. Would be 100, but because that board's on the back here, it's gonna be 97. So I'll cut them at 100, and then I'll cut that extra excess off just so I can get it precise. Alrighty, so I've cut two. We only need one, but I've cut two so that we can use them as a spacer, like that, when we glue our top part on. That way we get it, know it's level and where we want it to be. I don't think we're gonna glue these ones in yet, just because I think it'll be easier to wrap that in fabric and then glue it in afterwards. I think, we'll find out if it's gonna be, it probably won't be. Uh, so I just need to trim this one down to 97 from the 100 it is. Just test it out, make sure it's the right thickness. There we go, perfect. Alrighty, so we'll just put these in and we'll just take a, check that our decks fit underneath our little piece here. Nice and level. Plenty of room, nice and sleeved. Plenty of room for it to slide out. I have to keep in mind there's gonna be some fabric in there as well, so it may be a little, little bit tighter, but it still should have plenty of room. So let's glue this one in. So as I said, I'll use these two as spacers for the moment. And know that, so I know that that's where that has to live. So we'll put a bead of glue the whole way around and then in four. All right, get that nice and down. All right, so it should be nice and level there. Give it a bit of a squeeze so the glue takes hold. And let's run a bead along the top here. And we go and just give it a hold until our glue sets up. All right, let's do a test fit. So this is our divider part. It's gonna live in the middle here. Very nice, I think that's, I think that's about right. So you have one deck that goes there. And one deck that goes there. Then you just dip them sideways and your decks will come out. Okay, so the next part we've got to do is put the front little portion here on so that we have an enclosed top and it's open bottom and then we can start cutting the lid sections and start gluing some fabric on. So we're at 39, 39. All right, so we need 39 by 140. Okay, so we've got that piece cut and it fits nicely. All right, so let's uh, glue this bad boy in. Let's put a couple of little dots to hold it on. And then we'll run a, run a bead across. Try and get it as level with the other stuff as possible. The more level it is, the less it'll show up in uh, when we put the fabric on. I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Alrighty, so let's just put some pressure on our parts. And we're gluing. Run a bead along. Okay, so let's uh, let's start cutting some fabric out and we'll put our inlays on. Uh, and then after we've done our inlays, then we have to cut additional parts to go over the sides. Uh, that'll hide our seams of our black fabric. And then we'll also wrap those outside ones on the red fabric. And they'll also be hidden when these two parts connect. It'll make more sense when we do it. So let's, uh, let's get the diameters of our inside here. And we'll wrap black fabric on this inside part and we'll wrap black fabric on the inside here. Uh, wrap black fabric, black fabric on our insert, and then those parts will be done, and then we can move on to our red part. Okay, so what we have to do is measure the inside diameter of our bottom part here, which we know is 140 by 97, but we have to minus this three, so it goes down to 94. Uh, and then for that piece, we want to have it come up our back wall, side walls, and have little flaps to fold over. 
on the front here, we're gonna have a fold over and then wrap and go in. Pray to God that we get it good. All right, so we've got 140 for our inside by 94. Okay, so now we have to do our back, which is, that's where some handy dandy calipers come in. 38.7 millimeters. And we're gonna need it to wrap over. So we know that's three millimeter and we'll have it wrap over about 10 mil, so 13. So, so let's go 50 mil. Okay, so that's given us our inside and our back that folds up and wrap around onto here. So now we need to do our sides to wrap around and then we'll also give them tabs so they'll fold onto this part. Actually, we'll give them to the back. So on the back part here, let's give it 15 mil on both sides of overhang. Now we need to do our side portions up the sides. So same thing, they're gonna be exact same as this, just on the side here. So we'll come out 50 mil. Alrighty, so that's our sides done. Now we need to do our wrap around here part. So we know from using our caliper here that we are at 38 mils. Around, around about 38 mils, give or take. So 38, and then we've got our three mil here. Uh, so we've got 38 and three, so that's 41. So let's go 41 to that. Uh, then we're gonna come down this front section here, and that is going to come down at 42 mil. Now this section is gonna be the section on the front here. So we want it to wrap around the side to give us some nice clean edges. So we'll add our same as up the top here, which was 15. So we'll add 15 mil on either side of this one. So on the front here, we're just gonna put a little fold, so a part that folds over here, and that'll get covered by our inside insert for this part. So we'll just add another 15 mil to the bottom, and that should be that section done. Alrighty, so let's uh, cut this bad boy out. You could use scissors or a blade, whichever you prefer. Alrighty, so let's do a quick test fit to make sure we got everything right. What I'll do first is, I will just go to all my edges, where all my folds are, and just put a little crease on it, just to sort of help it go where it needs to go. Alrighty, let's uh, see how we went, eh? Back part was a little short, but it'll survive. But that's uh, what it's gonna resemble. Uh, so parts at the top here, we just wanna put a little slit across there on them, just so that uh, it can fold. In retrospect, we probably should have had some here as well, a little tab here as well, so that it folded on the inside, but oh well. I think that's gonna work. Let's uh, get some contact cement going and we'll make that happen. All right, you may want a paper towel for this part. Let's get some uh, contact cement and we're gonna place it all over the inside here, this front section and some tongue lines along the top there. Then we're also gonna put it on 
at the inside of our cloth here. Uh, you're gonna let it dry for about 10 minutes until it's touch dry. And then we're gonna touch them together. Okay, so now we just let that dry until it is uh, a touch, so it's not sticky. This one's nearly dry. And then the, uh, the nightmare of this stuff begins. All right, so this is dry to the touch now. So now the fun begins, or should I say the nightmare. This stuff, as soon as the dry parts touch, they're gonna grip, and they're gonna be nearly impossible to get apart. So we want to try and avoid touching the sides. We want to try and get the bottom part on first. I'm just using a ruler here to sort of flatten it into all the corners. It feels like it's working. Starting in the sort of middle and then working my way into the corner. Let's try and get this back one on so we have all these edges in. Start from the middle and work our way to the corner. We've got a crease, but what are you going to do? Okay, let's Things I've learned, do one part at a time. Little folded over parts here aren't going to stick, so we need to put some cement on them as well. Alrighty, so there is the inside of our box. Felt it up. I think that looks pretty good. So now let's uh, attempt to do this section here. So, with this one, because it's all inside parts, what I think I'll do is just do it bit by bit. So I'll do the inside part there first. Uh, I'll have all the parts as one giant thing, but I think we'll go the inside with the cement, and then we'll do cement on the bottom, on the top, on the side, on the side, just to make it a little bit easier for us, because either that or it's gonna be a nightmare. So what I think we're gonna do, just to make this bottom easier, is I'm just gonna cut, get my blade and just cut along our little seam here where we've joined with the super glue, which we'll redo again. But just to get our cement on. Okay, so we can uh, measure this part up. All right, so we've got 31 mil for our bottom part here. That's the whole way along. 31 by 140. By 97, so we'll have a 97 coming off the side here. Okay, we've got our measurements sorted out, so. All right, let's get some uh, measurements onto our fabric here. All right, so we'll start with our middle piece, which is gonna be 31 mil by 140 mil, so we'll go. Okay, so there's our middle section. Now we're gonna do the top and bottom section. So they will be 97 long. And then at the top of that, we'll just add a nice overhang. So it's gonna flip. All right, so now we're gonna go 97 again. Alrighty, now we're gonna do our side parts off. 
They are going to be 97 as well. And we're going to add 15 at the end for our fold over. Uh, so we'll add a fold over to these ones as well. So that'll fold onto the sides. So we'll add 15. Let's cut this sucker out, shall we? Alrighty, so we have our piece cut out. Let's do a little test fit. So let's do some folds. All right, let's uh, test fit this bad boy up. All right, so let's do this part first. We just want to get those edges where the fold overs are going to be. All right, we'll set that aside to dry. And we want to do our bottom section, so that's this one without the fold over. We want a really good seal on this edge, so try and get it as close as you can and as much on the edge. So you can get a no really nice seal, so you're not going to fray or anything like that. Alrighty, let's leave that to dry, and then we'll get to the sticking. Okay. Our cement is dry, so let's uh, fold these edges in so that we don't get any stickage when we don't want it to. And let's see if we can get this nice and straight. Okay, down the middle. There's a ruler. And on the side. Now this part's not going to be seen, but it would be nice. It's nice to get it all clean. All right, can fold them in. Okay. Bit more gluing. And the edges. Make sure you get it everywhere. That fabric. Alrighty, let it dry. Alrighty, she's a dry. Let's uh, see what we can do from the middle. Okay, we've got that part on. So, now the fun part. What we'll do is we'll put our Bondo, our cement onto this part now, and we'll put our cement onto this part then we will super glue this on again, and then try and attach it whilst it's inside. It's probably not gonna work, it's probably gonna go horribly wrong, but oh well. Okay, so I'm just gonna reattach the bottom plate again, and we'll hit and hope and see what happens. Okay, so let's just, it's pretty hard to get on camera, so I'm just gonna pull the middle tight and run my ruler down the middle. And slowly jib it out like I'm trying to break into a car. And down the side, so my flaps there, and we'll go to the other side. Roll it in, slide along like we're trying to break into a car. It's not going to be perfect, but you're not going to see it, so that's okay. All right, a little bit of barge on, a little bit of cement on the bottom here. Okay, so 
if you can see in there, there are tabs that have to come up the side here. So we've got one sitting on top of the other. So what I'm going to do is be very careful, as careful as you can be with contact cement, and paint our sides here. Try and get it as neat as possible. It's not the end of the world if you don't get it neat because God knows I'm not. All right, and then we'll put it on the strip laying down. Let that dry and we'll see what we can do, eh? Let's try and get our finger on that. Pull it tight. There we go. All right, I think that went pretty well. Let's uh, get our other one and we'll slap some cement on it. All right, there's a little bit of white from the back of the material here, so I'm just gonna get a permanent marker and just draw along that white part. Just to hide all my mistakes. All right, so let's do our little divider here. That's gonna go straight in the middle there. Now, because we've got some material in there now, it's a little bit tight. So let's get our calipers here. And what do we got? What are we at? We're at 2940. And this part is at 31. So let's cut this down to 29. Okay, so we need to now make sure that we're equal on both sides. So our gap is 139 the whole way, so 140. So we want to be at 70 mil center for our piece, our divider. So let's just put a little pencil mark, which we can get rid of later, hopefully. All right, let's get some material and wrap this bad boy. Uh, this one's pretty easy. We don't have to measure anything out. Let's just trace it. Hold it up. So we're gonna put it in the middle. So we roughed it there. Now let's just make sure our lines are straight. All righty, so you just wanna make sure that you've got enough to cover both sides and the thickness, which we'll do a test fit now. If you're a little off as well, it doesn't really matter. This is all going to be hidden anyway, really. Which we fit. Let's barge this. Let's, uh, let's get some cement on this bad boy. Our contact cement is dry. So let's get this. close as we can to being straight. Roll it into the center so we're nice and good on there. Pull it tight and boom. We got ourselves a wrapped divider. Okay, and the way I'm going to attach this in is I'm just going to use some super glue on this. It should be enough to hold it. It's only going to hold the decks in. If it comes loose, it comes loose. So we'll just make sure we're 70. Okay, so we know whereabouts it needs to go. As gently as I can to get it ready. I'm going to try and get my measurements first up. So I need to come this way. Try and get it straight and push it down. 
Then what I'm going to do is it's going to lift, separate this bottom part from the tab. And we're just going to put a little bead of super glue under it there. And on the fabric, push it down and the same on the top. And that should just hold it in place. So that is our inside fully fabriced and ready to rock and roll. Now it's time to work on the outside. Exciting time. Alrighty, so let's get to, let's do the sides first, shall we? Okay, so we need to get, we need to cut pretty much exact same size as we cut when we first started. 100 by 75. So let's cut two of those and then we'll get them wrapped and we can move on to the rest of it. Okay, so now we will grab our box and we'll just test fit, make sure that we're all good and we're matching our same dimensions, which we are. And check the other side. Yep, all good. All right, so now let's wrap these in our fake leather. Okay, so these ones are gonna be a little bit easier to wrap. So pretty much all you're gonna do is put your piece down. We're gonna trace around it. And this one we're gonna use scissors for. So what you wanna do is just, you wanna cut yourself enough to roll over the material and onto the back. So I'm leaving about 10, 10 mil. Alrighty. So now what we'll do is just test it on there. And so this will just wrap over like so, giving us a nice clean edge. So now what you wanna do is you wanna cut out the edges at an angle like that. So you wanna cut off the edge, not, to not too close to where it's actually gonna glue. So you wanna leave a little bit overlap. So we're gonna cut the edge Cut the edge, cut the edge, cut the edge. So if you look here, you can see I haven't cut all the way to where my piece is going to go. I've left a little bit there and that's so that the cardboard doesn't actually show through when we fold over. It's leaving a nice little divot there for us which we can then just sort of squash in behind with a bit of glue. Alrighty, so let's cut another one of those and let's barge them, let's, uh, let's cement them up. Don't worry if you get too much on the back because you're gonna put, be putting more on there soon anyway. All right, we just let them dry. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Try and line it up with my marks. All right, and fold our edge over. Over. I just fold it. I'm just going to put a little bit of cement just to make sure it catches. And under the edge. And we've got semi-decent edges. Let's give them a little trim if we want. And there we go. That's our wrapped piece. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some cement on the back of this and some cement on the side here and attach these bad boys. All 
Alrighty, let's uh, attach our side panels. If you've got one that's, now this one I sort of nicked a little bit here. Put that towards the back because the back part will probably, you'll get covered a little bit. So there are our side panels put on. So back panel you want to be about, about 148 ish. You kind of, you got to account for the leather or the pleather, whatever it is, on both sides. So you want to sort of measure from about the middle of each of your red parts. So mine is about, Oh, it's about 149, so let's go 149 there. No, let's go 148, just to be careful. 148, and then it is uh, 75 down. All right, we've got our back piece cut out. Let's just do a quick test fit. I think we're going to be good with that. All right, let's cut some uh, leather. And the always fun part, cement. Okay, so we have finished this part of it now. This is the main part of our build. Now we just have to do the bottom, which then goes around into the flap. I forgot to put magnets in this point here. I was gonna put them inside the cardboard underneath the vinyl, but I forgot, so we're just gonna end up putting them on top in this, but ideally they would be underneath. Alrighty, so let's measure our bottom here. We know it's 100 by 140, normally that piece, but now we've got all these extra pieces on the side. Uh, so we're looking at about, oh, let's go 150, let's go 151. Uh, we, oh, I, think, I think we want a little bit extra here so that uh, it's got somewhere for it to sort of fold. So let's go, let's go 104. Alrighty, that's our bottom piece. Beautiful. We'll cut the exact same again for the top. Alrighty, so that's our top piece. Let's put let's put our top and bottom together and we'll measure our height of all of it. Uh, so we've got 80 on the dot. Let's go 81. And then the same distance, so 151. Alrighty, so that's our Front section there. And our bottom piece. And that will sit like that. And that will fold down. That will fold to there. And now we've just got to do our front piece. So half of this is, what do we got? 81, so that's a 40.5. We'll just go 41 to make it easy. And 151 long. All right, so we have our door done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I don't know if this is gonna affect it or not anyway, but the parts where they fold, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little slight chamfer on each part. I don't know if that'll help or not, but it can't, help, can't hurt. But I've just put a slight, I don't know if you can see there, but I've just put a slight chamfer. I'd put my blade at 45 degrees and slid that off. Okay, so this is the part that's going to flap onto the front and be our locking mechanism. So what I'm going to do on this one is put some magnets along here. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll measure up. Let's go 15 mil and we'll go 15 mil in and half. So about 75. So I've got three marks there. So now I will just I'll chuck some magnets on there and just, just to trace around. And I'm just gonna use my blade, put it in the center mark and spin it around until I can create a hole that's big enough. 
And you gotta make sure this is on the inside portion. And it doesn't have to go all the way in. Just give it something, it doesn't have to go all the way in, just give it something that it can uh, sit into. Uh, I think that'll do. Bit of super glue. Give it a push in there. that dry up and then we can move on to our leather. Okay, so we've uh, put cement on our front here and on our boards. So let's uh, stick them down, shall we? Uh, so this is our back piece, this is our bottom piece here. So let's uh, line this bad boy up. There we go, let's get our edges and angle them for the fold. And we'll do the side folds once we've got all of them down. Get a little spacer here. Try and line it up. So we're going straight. Spacer. And our back piece. And this one's going to have the edges cut. Let's get those edges folded down. Get where the joins are, push them down, get them into there. All right, that looks like a thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that! A thing of beauty. All right, so now we need to get some black material and on the inside, uh, the bottom part we here, we don't have to do because that's going to be glued onto here. So let's get some cement on here and all, uh, actually we'll first we'll measure out our black. Okay, so we want, we want 24 and a half. 14.7. Test fitter. Perfect. All right, let's cement this up. Let's try and get this as straight as possible. Get those edges down, edges down. Don't want them coming up. All right. A little bit more cement. All right, moment of truth, we're glued up. It closes. All right, let's get some magnets on and see if we can make it close, shall we? So attach them to this side so we know we've got the right way and then we're putting them in the right spot. All right, let's put a tiny dollop of super glue. Don't want it to overflow. Just a tiny little dollop. And we'll close it. Nice and tight. Get 
give the super glue some time to hold. Don't know how well it's gonna hold to this vinyl, but we'll see. Alrighty, so we successfully have a box that closes. Uh, unfortunately, my magnets weren't strong enough that I had for this, so I've had to use a lot of them, but it seems to be working for the moment. I probably might get a latch for here or something like that. I don't know. Um, but if you want to make one, get stronger magnets. Um, so we have a box that our decks can fit in. Uh, now what we need to do is make our holders for our Bakugan and our cores. Okay, so we've got six Bakugan here. So my thinking is I'm going to put them all the way at the edges like that and put dividers down the middle here. And then down the middle, we'll have a divider where our cores can sit. And we should be able to get three rows in, I imagine. And so we've got 39, 139. And we'll make them a little less than that. So we'll make them 25, I think. Uh, about six mil for six cores. All right, so there's our divider and that's uh, 18 cores in there. Okay, let's uh, get these bad boys wrapped, shall we? Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have a little divider in between each lot. So let's figure out how thick we want it. We want to give it a little bit of slack. We'll put seven in each, so we've got a little bit of slack in there and we could fit potentially an extra one if we want. And how much do we have in there? How much room? So 6.7, so we've got seven, a little seven mil spacer in there. That should be good. Alrighty, we've got our two little spacers done. technically measure this out using our cores and we'll sit them right at the top of our link so a bit of super glue Just super glue on the other ones. There we have it, our nicely wrapped core divider. Let's get this into the box. And before we push it down, let's make sure we're close to center.
Let's finish up with our dividers, shall we? Let's So I've just measured these off the uh, the gap in there. Test that they fit. They do indeed. Da -da. There it is guys, the deck box is all done. I must say I'm pretty stoked with how this came out. Um, for never doing this before, I think it looks pretty professional. There's a couple of little parts where I've cut the uh, vinyl a bit too close to the cardboard, but other than that, I think it looks great. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, following me along with this. So if you like this video, uh, and you want to see more of them, comment in the section, the, comment down below and I'll try and get make more of them. Uh, also, make sure to like, share and subscribe, please, guys. I've got a Patreon, links in the description. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.